Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Since the update 2.0, we've received a lot of questions and feedback from you about the Dragon Spirit. So today I'm going to try to get a little more into details. So let's get started. First thing first, before entering the labyrinth, you're gonna have to summon your dragon spirit from the spirit chamber, which is this building that you see right next to your watchtower. The first time you get there, you're gonna be asked to choose the gender of your dragon, so choose wisely because you're not gonna be able to change it later. So let's go check out the dragon spirit features. Tap on dragon spirit and on this interface, you're gonna be able to manage your talent points, spirit skills and your dragon name. So talent points, here you see that you can evolve your dragon in three different characters, so we have the Berserker, the Knight, and Mage. The first one is concentrated on damage, the second one on defense, while the third one on anything that is magic related. Re and remember that every time that you level up your dragon, you're gonna get one point, but starting from level 31, you're gonna get two points. Now let's go to the Spirit Skills tab, and here you see that there's a set of 10 skills that are going to be unlocked according to the level that you reach, so tap on them to see the requirements like for this one, for example, you're gonna have to level up your Dragon Spirit at level 7. So, at this point, the question is, how do I level up my Dragon Spirit? And the answer is that right now you can do it only using the Dragon Spirit Experience items, which you can get from the dresses in the Labyrinth, from the packages in-game, from the ranking in the Labyrinth, and from the Auction House. Alright, let's go back to the Spirit Chamber. And here you see these three icons. We have Equipment, Enhance, and Spirit Armory. It works pretty much like the Lord Equipment, basically here you can forge equipment for your Dragon Spirit and you're gonna have to find the scrolls that then you can synthesize into the pieces of equipment that you're gonna find in the Spirit Armory later on and then you're gonna have to equip them to enjoy the benefits that they offer and you can also enhance them through the enhance icon. You can get the scrolls from the packages in-game, from the labyrinth chests and from the auction house. There is another thing I want to talk about. So when you go to your university, you find out that there is a new tab in the research for your Dragon Spirit. And the researches here, they pretty much speak for themselves, so you can just tap on them to see the benefits that they offer. And there is another thing that I want to mention. As you guys know, when you step into the Labyrinth, you're gonna have a certain amount of potions that you can carry with you for each expedition. I think that your priority should be the research is about the health potion and stamina potion because by researching them you're gonna increase the amount of these potions that you can get we do that we can carry we do when you go into the labyrinth and also remember that the potions will be refilled only after the cooldown all right let's get into the labyrinth now last time i explained the basics to you so you basically have to fight the monsters that you meet in order to get to deeper levels and hopefully to get better rewards so today we're gonna concentrate a little more on the things that you see around you when you're inside the labyrinth. So on the top left, you see your stamina bar, health bar, and mana bar. About the stamina, just remember that you're gonna consume one point every time that you step into a new room. Health, well, you guys know how it works, obviously if the bar reaches zero, you're gonna get kicked out and you can use the potions to keep your character alive. And then mana, which is important for mages, and uh, you're gonna use mana points every time that you cast a spell. On the right side, we have on top the map, so just keep an eye on it and it's gonna tell you where you've been. And then we have the six icons on bottom, so we have the satchel, and tapping on it, you'll see the items that you have right now, and you just have to keep an eye on the weight and the capacity, and if there are some items you wanna get rid of, you simply tap on them and then on discard. The second one is about potions, and then we have third, fourth, and fifth one, which are about skills and talents, and you can assign them through this icon, the settings icon. You probably noticed that there is a cooldown period when you step out of the labyrinth, and remember that you can actually speed it up using the speed up items. At the end of the cooldown period, the items that you have in your satchel will be sent to you with a message through your mail, and also the potions will be refilled. And if you wish to restart from a specific level when you get back to the labyrinth, remember that you can do it, but only after unlocking level 11. So at that point you can restart from level 11, and then you can start from level 21, and so on. It's all for today, guys. I hope this video was useful. I hope it's gonna help you reach deeper levels and enhance your dragon spirit. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for all your support. If you have any suggestion for the next videos, remember to leave a comment below. 
And also remember to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye!